So in this video, I'm going to go through and show you how to use the self-service site creation tool in Cloud Design Box. So the first thing you do is you select a school, because you might be part of a multi-academy multi trust with lots of different schools in your tenants. So select the school or site that you want to create the new area on. You can then go to the Create Site option at the top, and you can choose between a team site or a communication site. So a communication site is great for publishing resources to wide audiences across the school. So it might be news and information, it could be policies, things like that. And your team sites are small collaboration spaces. So they're for teams of people working together. So it might be your finance team, your SLT team, anywhere where everybody in that team can edit and collaborate on every single document that exists in that area. So in this, in this example, I'm going to create a team. So I select team site, I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this my CPD training team. And I can choose which type of team template I want to use. So standard team is just your standard team as you'd go through your normal wizard in Microsoft. Um, a staff team has a staff notebook in it, which is great for line management. Or you've got the PLC template, the professional learning community template. In this example, I'm, I'm going to use a staff template. I can select which menu list it goes into. So because this is a collaboration space, it's a team, I'm going to put in the collaboration mega menu column. And then go select the owners and the members of this team. Of course, I can come back in and add extra members at a later date. So in this case, I'm just going to add a single owner. I then press save and that will create the team. It'll add the link to the mega menu or add the web parts of the page, but only the owners and members will be able to see that link. So just bear that in mind that you want to make sure that you, yourself is in it if, if you need access to that team. Um, and when you create it, it'll create a few minutes to create and you'll see the status of it below. So when it's been created, you'll see this page gets updated. It'll tell you the time and who created that site and the status of it.